next week. Make sure you're subscribed. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything fun. Merry Christmas! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I have a lot to do today. I got the kids off to school, I came back home, did a bunch of laundry, ate some breakfast, so yay me. Um, and now I'm heading to town to drop off my laptop at the laptop doctor because yesterday it took me, I'm not even gonna tell you how long it took, we'll just say hours, to get the video uploaded to YouTube. I know I just brought my laptop to the laptop doctor, they fixed it, they gave it back to me. And here we are again. So <laughs> I'm grateful that I pay for my Geek Squad on a monthly basis because squad goals, okay? They are really helpful. Hopefully it will get fixed quickly. I think I actually might need another new hard drive. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm no Geek Squad myself. I'm honorary member because I pay to it. So <laughs> I am bringing my laptop back to Best Buy and gonna get a new one again and that will be a loner and hopefully the loner will work better than the loner i had last time because loners be tripping okay <laughs> oh the good old youtube it's worth it i know it's just technology like if everything went according to plan if everything worked as it should i'd love this job it would be super easy but i have OCD so I'm a little controlling and I have anxiety and which is also part of OCD and when things don't go the way they're supposed to go <laughs> there's a circuit breaker but it's nothing to do with COVID <laughs> it's literally in my brain um, <laughs> anyways what I'm going to do is drop this laptop off me and Boober are then going to go shopping we're going to go to a few stores while we're there I have a list we're going to bring it with us we're going to look at it it is going in this beautiful lounge fly bag that I just switched over to from this beautiful lounge fly bag, both given to me by my bestie, Tara. I love you. Um, but also, I took everything that was essential out of this purse and put it into this one. You want to see how much stuff is left in my purse? Yeah, I know. Socks? <laughs> yeah, there's socks in my purse. Um, yeah. That's not essential, so I'm gonna clean that out later, but for now, I'm gonna use this beautiful Disney princess. I love it. I had the Disney villains one, which was perfect for Halloween, but now it's not that season anymore. <sighs> Here we go. She's wrapped up in a bag because it is raining outside, and all that I wanna do when it's raining is stay home and do stuff at home because like, I wouldn't sit down all day and watch a movie. If that's your life, I'm gonna join you someday. But today is not that day. My mom life is finally on a roll. I feel like Christmas is coming and I am coming with it. But holy crap, I just had a really inappropriate thought. Sorry guys, <laughs> it might be the Christmas season. Jesus is definitely in my heart, but I'm still extremely dirty minded. <laughs> I like to think that Jesus himself would laugh at a few of my jokes. But Curtis thinks I might be living in a dream world, but that's okay. Like, I think Jesus is down to clown with that's what she said. But I mean, maybe that's just my Jesus. He might be different than yours, but um, also the same person at the same time. Anyways, <laughs> okay, let's stop talking and let's get moving. We're on our way to town. We made it to Best Buy. Uber. <laughs> okay, so good news from Best Buy. The girl that I had was amazing. Um, and I should have my laptop back in a few hours. Um, we think all that's wrong with it is just, um, oh, frig, I forget what it's called. Some kind of like spinner thing that spins and gets the information and it needs to be switched to a dig digital spinner thing or that doesn't spin, but it's digital. I see like, this is why I pay people to do stuff for me. <laughs> um, but I did have to buy a new spinner thing or like the digital thing. That's not a spinner. I had to buy one of those. So that was 160 some dollars. Um, but because I'm with the geek squad, 
um, the like um, maintenance fee or whatever, like the installation fee is covered. So um, I guess I just needed a better laptop from the start. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, who knew I was going to be creating a video every single day and uploading it to YouTube every single day, even when I started this channel. That was never my intention. I actually did not think I could ever upload every single day. And look at me, I've been doing it over a year, like, which is crazy. It's crazy to me that this is my life right now, but I'm very grateful. Um, and because this is my life right now, um, I'm going to go over to, um, Canadian Tire because one of my friends, Michelle, saw me shopping and, um, she wanted a couple of the things that I saw at my Canadian Tire. She couldn't find them at her Canadian Tire. So I was like, girl, don't worry. Like, I'm going to go back to my Canadian Tire. Hopefully they have them and then they will come in the mail to you for Christmas. It looks absolutely nuts in here. I love you, Michelle. <laughs> Just look at this parking lot, guys. It's nuts here. What do you think? Some big honking fish, eh? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, they're, yeah, they're hanging out at the bottom of the waterfall. Nice. The Mrs. Claus and the cookie sheet are what she was looking for. I'm so glad they're still here and I'm gonna send them in the mail today. Motorbikes. motorbikes are cool. Pizzas. Pizza is nice. Rainbows. Oh yeah, there's so many to choose from, huh? And a couple bakery. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He's got some good moves. Booty shaking, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> what is that? That's called a big giant nutcracker. Yep, there it is. Oh, what the heck is that? Santa! Let's go see him. Let's go say hi. Santa! He's driving the red truck. Oh my heck, I've never seen one that big before. <laughs> That's what she said. If you guys were shopping with us the last time you went Christmas shopping, Curtis and I together, um, you know we bought these special retro, you know, it's like from the 90s and 80s, um, Christmas lights. And Curtis was like, we only need three. And then I was like, I think we need four, maybe five. But he's like, fine, get four. I'm getting number five today. <laughs> Beautiful trees, aren't they? Yeah, there's so many things here. I wonder if Santa shops here, do you think? No. You think he does all his shopping at the North yeah. Pole? Yeah, I think so too. Because the elves make everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice house. Hello. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, a unicorn. And there's a puppy on this side. A Christmas puppy sitting in the snow getting a wet butt. <laughs> Lots of special treats too. Uh-oh. <laughs> Some people might think this is like kind of copping out if you buy a gift set, but I do not feel that way. I love me a good gift set. I really do. I think they're adorable. Look at this one with the little coffee cups. Are you kidding me? So cute. Walking to the cash, I came across this deal. I'm gonna pick some up for Cooper for Christmas. <laughs> Anyone recognize that green?
<laughs> I look like a hot, friggin' sexy mess, okay? <laughs> um, we're just gonna run into Sobeys. There's a few more things on my list, but I'm going to have to come back to town later today anyway, so if I need to do any more running around, I'll just do that later. This way, if we just go to Sobeys and then go home, um, I can sit down and enjoy a quiet lunch and that's just better for my mental health. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to keep rushing around town here now. And like, honestly, it's crazy in here. Like it's crazy busy in town. Every parking lot, especially this, but I'm like, why is Sobeys busy? Like what day is today? Thursday. Oh, maybe it's cause it's Thursday. Yeah. I don't know. I actually, I think it's cause it's Christmas, but, um, every place is busy and I think this is just what it's going to be um until January you know just guessing you know an educated guess because I'm 36 and this isn't my first Christmas so <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in and get a couple things at Sobeys and then we'll go home have some lunch um do some stuff at home and then I will come back to town whenever the geek squad calls me to tell me my baby is ready to be picked up I am really hoping that this is the cure like, honestly, I don't talk a lot. I, I could talk so much more about my technical difficulties. Who is speeding like a friggin' race car? Lightning McQueen, is that you? <laughs> Do you hear that? Jeez Louise. These people that get like an upgraded fart tube, like, you know, the thing that makes your car sound um, like louder. Like, I, I'll never understand that at all. To each their own. Some people don't understand why I want to decorate my house the way that I do. But, like, that's why God made us all different. So, go ahead with your fart tube. Like, be as loud as you want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you guys might think that I already talk enough about, like, the other side that you don't see. Like, the how my computer is. How do I edit videos? When do I upload? Like, all of that stuff. Maybe you think I do talk about it a lot. Um, but the amount that I actually do in my real life, I don't talk about it enough because it's a huge part of my life. It really is. And normally it's literally me copying these videos from my phone onto my laptop, then getting those into the, um, video editors app and then editing it and exporting it, then putting it onto YouTube and uploading it and then letting that finalize and, um, put in all my information and the copywriting stuff and the, is it monetized? Is it not? What's going on? Is it for kids? No, I'm not for kids. Have you, have you met me? Like I am not for kids. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I don't talk about it a lot because in the percentages of what I talk about and how much they are in my life, this is one of the biggest ones. And so if I seem like I talk about it too much, like <laughs> I don't, <laughs> even if it seems like I do, trust me, I don't, but I'm really, really, really hoping that this will be so much better for vlogmas that this will be this december will be so much better than last december was for technical issues last december was um a lot i had a lot of very late nights and a lot of not enough sleep and honestly i can't do that to myself again i can't do that to my family again i want to be like awake and enjoying the holidays, not stressed and um, suffering from hemorrhoids because last year I was big time suffering because of that low carb BS that I was doing. No, honey, I don't do that anymore. Anyways, my body said no. <laughs> but can I tell you what my body is saying yes to? Well, <laughs> Curtis knows. <laughs> But my body right now, like I'm excited, but also nervous, but excited. And I can't say excited without saying, but also nervous um, to weigh myself because I feel, I feel like my face has changed. I feel like when I put this sweater on this morning, I was like, oof, she fits different. Um, I'm excited slash nervous, but the way I've been eating now is I am eating whole grains, protein, vegetables, and fruits and a little bit of fat. Like that is what I'm trying to do in a balance. Um, but every time I eat, 
I'm trying to make sure I have all of those things. And this isn't something that I've like researched online and oh, like the so-and-so is doing this. I want to try to do that. No, like I have not watched any what I eat in a day. Like, ooh, try this diet. No, like I want to, like this morning I had bacon. I had blueberries. I had half a banana. What had the whole thing, but half of it was bruised. So I had that half of the banana. I had a bunch of water, um, black coffee, and I had one keto cake. Nope, sorry, that's not what it's called. One Kodiak cake is what I meant um, with a tablespoon of ground flaxseed and like a tablespoon or so, like I don't measure it actually, um, of maple syrup. And I ate so good and it was like a smaller portion to what like normal Miranda or like the Miranda of the past would eat because um, even Miranda at the beginning of this month, I would have like way more and then I would skip lunch because I ate too much for breakfast. But right now that's not what I'm about. I'm about fueling my body at multiple times in the day um, and giving it what it needs so that I'm not craving anything that I want. But I'll tell you what I'm craving right now, water. I forgot my water, I forgot my water at home. So I'm gonna get some water in at Zobies because that beach mouth, I love the beach, but not in my mouth, okay? My mouth is dry and I need something to drink. I've also been walking more, but I'm doing it for fun. Like I'm actually, enjoying myself. I'm listening to my podcasts again, which are usually Pastor Stephen Furnick. I'm not about church. I'm scared of church. Church is not for me, but Jesus is for me. And um, I'm just, I feel so much better. I really do. And actually, when I wake up now, I wake up and like, yeah, I'm tired because I just woke up. But like, I don't feel like I'm lagging all day long. So maybe all along, it was not that I was anemic. I mean, I'm sure that had something to do with it, but I'm not right now. I'm not anemic right now. Um, I do have chronic anemia, but like my numbers are good right now and I feel better, but I really just think I'm not making my blood sugar or whatever. I'm not making my body go, oh, we're doing this now. Oh, we're doing this now. Oh, we got to slow down. Oh, we got to speed up. Like I am being more consistent and just putting more food in my body that I wouldn't be ashamed to show somebody that I was eating that. I'm not showing everybody. I'm not taking pictures. I'm not keeping accountability. I'm literally, oh, I just saw a cool fire truck. Curtis likes that kind of, it's a ladder truck. Anyways, I, I'm not doing this to prove a point to anyone. I'm literally doing this for me and for my body and like, I'm, I don't get to choose another body. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, no, I get this one and this one alone. And I'm going to where I am. And I hope that I keep this mindset because I feel really good right now. But I hope that I always want to treat this body with respect, like through my words and through my actions. Okay, lots of talking. I'm just chilling, you guys. I feel... You guys, I feel so much better. I really do. I feel so much more like, you know, like zen. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. And I just realized I had that entire like minutes long conversation with what looks like a beard, but it's not. It's like the beard of 2021. Everyone's got it. <laughs> That's another puddle. Ah! <laughs> these little gummies I've been looking for them cool Ooh, might have to pick up a few more of these babies these right here not coming home with me Christmas Day yes right now no I'm saving it for later and how do I keep from eating it too soon just don't buy it I'm gonna wait till like Christmas Eve seriously Maybe Christmas Eve Eve, but right before Christmas. This is crazy. This is nuts. I can't believe this is life right now. $10.99? You guys, it's not that big. What? 
yikes. That's nuts. When we were at Walmart the other day, I got my baby dills, but they didn't have Curtis's sweet mix. $5 for pickles. <sighs> my Grammys would not be impressed. <laughs> Moose juice. Look at these fun mini eggs. They have little snowflakes on them. I've been seeing these online. Yay, I'm so happy I found them. Walked around the whole store looking for these babies. Everyone needs Kleenex sometimes, but Christmas Kleenex is where it's friggin' at. I do not love this price of the body wash, but my teenagers need it. <laughs> I could go shop around and try to find a good deal somewhere, or I'd just buy it here and go the heck home. More gift sets. They're so fun to me. The bigger the better, baby. Bye! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I'm back home from town and I have a cute little fun little Christmassy grocery haul for you guys. Look how fun. Oh my heck, I'm so excited. Okay, so I got some moose juice. It was not on sale, but that's okay. Um, Boober needed a drink as well because we forgot our drinks at home. So um, I drank my whole water bottle on the drive home and he drank a juice box and the rest will go in the fridge. I got another thing of almond milk. Winnie's very favorite Smarties ice cream cones. The kind she only actually eats the ice cream and the Smarties off the top. She doesn't eat the cone and they're tiny, <laughs> but it's okay, she loves them. I got some cheese sticks. I was looking for Winnie's favorite cheese sticks, which are um, the black diamond ones. They're long and not peely. Like we don't like actually, Skylar I think eats some. No one else really likes the cheese strings. We like real cheese. So anyways, I got these ones. They were on sale for like three something, 3.89 maybe. Um, anyways, the boys will toss those in their lunch for the next couple days. Um, Winnie loves this vegan pepperoni, so she can bring this in her thermos. Um, I cut it up and everything and, um, put an ice pack in her lunch as well. But, um, she eats about a half a package at a time. They had some chicken strips on sale and Cooper told me the other day that chicken strips are a lot better than chicken nuggets. So I picked these up for him. <laughs> I'll take you over here to the expensive pickles. Now, <sighs> Curtis is so weird with pickles. Oh, there's the cauliflower. Okay, because like this one has the cauliflower on the outside, like you can see it on the package, but he doesn't like the ones that just have pickles. He won't eat the cauliflower, but he needs it to be in the jar. Why are my kids picky? Gee, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, I was worried. Like I picked them up. I set them back down. I picked them up again. And I was like, there's no freaking cauliflower in here. But now that I've tipped it upside down like this, I see there is cauliflower right there. Okay, so I did buy the right ones. Good, sweet mix. That's what Curtis likes. I got my absolute favorite Kleenexes for this time of year. They were $1.99 each. I absolutely love these. Honestly, they haven't changed the box. Like I was expecting, you know, um, maybe like a, a new style or like an updated version, but I've been buying these Kleenexes now for like almost 10 years, I wanna say, maybe a little less, um, but they've been the same pictures all along, but that's okay. I love them and they're fun and it's like a little decoration that you can put on your counter. I know I paid too much for these because I could have bought them on sale, but the last few times I've gone to town, I have forgotten and Skylar and Cooper have actually been having to use Winnie's soap. <laughs> so anyways, now they're going to have soap again and both of these smell really, really good. These were on sale, you guys, $1.77. 
$1.77. That's a great deal. So I picked up three more. I'm actually going to put these in my bedroom and put them with all the Christmas stuff. I did buy a few. I think I bought six at the Dollarama not that long ago. We still have two boxes left. So because I know people are going to want those at Christmas time, I'm going to hide these three so they can survive that long. <laughs> <laughs> but they're great to have out like on Christmas Day or people come over to our house on Christmas Day and also like Curtis's birthday and Winnie's birthday are just before that. So it's just good to have treats out and those are a favorite of so many people and they're not wrong. They're delicious. And I finally found the Grinch Kisses. I only bought one bag. Um, I was thinking maybe Shep. Could bring these to the kids which is our shepherd on the search who is just like the elf on the shelf only a little bit different um also i was thinking sheppy could bring these little christmas mini eggs and these candies as well i just it's almost time to get shep out you guys it really is we are so close to december 1st <sighs> and i'm really excited hello what are you doing over there huh are you soaking because it's raining outside? Are you a sooky boy? <laughs> You're so handsome, Jazzy. I love you. Maybe he needs a cookie. Well, hello. Hello. You think you need a cookie? Would that make you feel better? Yeah? Let's get you a cookie then. Ooh, these for you? Yes, they are. Good boy. Oh, my sakes. How's that treating you? Pretty good, huh? That's my good boy. That's my good boy. If you're not eating your salad out of a big mixing bowl, you're doing it wrong. Nice. Good job, sis. Cooper is at a volleyball game and Skylar and Winnie are playing bowling on the Wii and I am running back to town to go get my laptop. <laughs> I'm so glad it's done. It better friggin' work too. I actually remembered my water this time and I brought some Skinny Pop and a little trail mix with dried cranberries. I'm gonna have this while I drive. Multitasking. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock, anyone? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> That's a lot of birds, y'all. I'm sorry, but this is creepy. <laughs> They're everywhere. I feel like they know something. What do they know? Anyone talk to birds out there? What are they saying? <laughs> so this is the box of the thing that I didn't know what it was called that I had to buy. Um, which, by the way, Curtis is ticked off now because he's like, why did you buy something? I'm like, what the frig? I did what they told me to do. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the thing they took out. And the new thing is in there. I don't know why they thought I'd want to bring this home. But I guess I did. Um, whoa, look at it. Read it. That's creepy. What? what it's like it? a robot. And yeah, I picked up it's fries for me. Oh, whoa. Weird, eh? Yeah. Mm hmm. Your fries good? Yeah. Yeah. I look very tired. <laughs> I look how I feel. <laughs> Skylar, I brought Skylar and Cooper home. McDo nope, Skylar and Winnie home McDonald's because. Um, I didn't want to cook and because I already have dishes to do because I haven't done dishes yet all day because I've been busy, busy, busy. Um, so I have to do that and I'm going to cook myself some supper, but like, I'm okay if I don't eat till 
like later, but Winnie can't wait to eat at all because <laughs> she just cannot wait. And Skylar is the most annoying if he has to wait. So um, Cooper actually had McDonald's today already because he was on a field trip today with his class. What a mess here. Like what? Like. <laughs> So Cooper was on a field trip with his school or his class today. So he had McDonald's for lunch. So I thought, okay, well, Cooper can make his own supper or he can eat whatever I'm eating. Um, and I can get McDonald's for Winnie and Skye. It's really hard to formulate a sentence right now. I don't drive well at night. It makes me very tired. Even if I listen to Britney Spears very loud, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to sleep. Ugh. I won the lottery. You won the lottery? We were playing Wii. Oh, you won the showcase showdown on The Price is Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Mama. Check out my ice cream. <laughs> Winter! <laughs> that was a ginormous bite. No, it's not. <laughs> Hey, no. you came home. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no! <laughs> Winnie's assumed her position at the ice maker. <laughs> She's the ice queen, aren't you, Wind? Mm hmm. She's actually going to stay home from school tomorrow. She just has the sniffles. It's only one symptom, so technically she could go to school as per the regulations of COVID and school. But we're going to keep her home, or I'm going to keep her home. We're going to have a Mama Winnie day. I think that sounds perfect. We both kind of need it. When she got home today, she's like, is it the weekend? <laughs> I was like, I know. I don't think so. <laughs> Getting some facial hair back. I'm working on it. No, that's right. I worked real hard on it. Too. Oh, that smells good. He's making my cafecito. Cafecito? Mwah. I love you. Dad, put your back. I love you guys so much. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a good day. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, me nice. Be nice? No, bye. I'm eating ice. Oh, bye. You're eating ice. Okay. <laughs>